Welcome back, ladies and gents, to another episode. And what we're doing today, uh, another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, is we're back in the new shop, and we have another customer's car in here. We have this which is a 2015 Griffin Tyro. Now, the customer states that he was referred to by his neighbor. Um, needs, needs a few things to it, you know, like a belt tensioner, brake pads, cam gear, camshaft, uh, rubber bushings, uh, you know, just basic stuff. Uh, when, it's high, when it's a high mileage motor, like, mm -hmm. It's only got 40,000 miles. Hmm. That's not very high mileage. Then, you know, things do need to be replaced. So, let's jump into it. And, uh, get working on it. Now, do they need to do an oil change? Yes, I do. So, I'm going to put the car up in the air. Drain the oil. While we're waiting for this to go up, what I want to do is I want to buy our first first tool, you could say. And we're going to also use one of these skill points. Let's try to make it a little bit faster, take the bolts off, shall we? And the first tool we are going to buy, ooh, not yet, we're not. 1500 bucks. Ooh, it's a little bit of money. So, what should we purchase? That's 15. We don't need the fuel pressure gauge yet. Electronic multimeter. Let me know if the electronics are bad in the vehicle or not. And compression tester. Right, we'll buy this. And we'll buy this one. This is the main one to get for these newer vehicles. Because everything's run off OBD. But... Here's where we shall start. We're going to bring this over, our oil drain, and drain the oil. Now, did they say that they needed a oil filter? Yes, they did need one. Okay. Let's put that back. Come up in here. Oil filter looks pretty good, but they want it changed, so we'll take it off. All right. Everything else looks to be in tip-top shape. So what we'll do is we'll purchase an oil filter. We'll put that on. That way then we can drop the car back down to the first level and we should be good there. We shouldn't need... Now, just my luck, we will have to need to raise it back up again. But, I'm hoping that we don't have to. So, what we'll do is we'll install the oil filter. Perfect. We'll lower it back down. And what we're going to also do is sell the old parts from the last vehicle. That way then, we're starting over fresh. Now, it did say it needed a camshaft, and it probably also needs a coil. Just by looking at it. Yeah, ignition coil, which is going to be the first one. You can tell, see how it's got just a little bit of darkness on it. This one has none. This one also too has a little bit. Well, that first one was really bad. So, we got to take all four of these out. And we got to take the valve cover off. And now, to do these motors to change ooh we're looking at new plugs too hi so what we'll do is we'll just replace all them they're cheap the car lasts a little bit longer but uh, as I was saying to get these off you also got to take off this piece back here as well timing cover B for the I4B And you're going to take this gear B off. 
something Tommy is going to need all the gears. Camshaft gear, that's in the front of the motor, the camshaft, so we don't need to replace those. But what we'll do now is we'll take out the camshaft caps, all four of them. That's a slow and tedious process, but we'll get through it. And we gotta take. Now we gotta go down to the bottom of the motor. We gotta take off this pulley first, idler A. Then we take the belt off. And we take off the cam or er, crankshaft gear pull. Um, yeah, the pulley for the crankshaft. Then we take off the timing cover. This is A for I4B. Ooh, we got a few things in here. The first things first, we gotta take off the belt tensioner, then the belt. Oh, we gotta line up. There we go. We take off idler A, and then this is the cam gear I4 S O H C, single overhead cam, which I'm not understanding because, as you can tell. There's two of them here. And then everything else looks to be on the up and up. So far anyway. Okay. Let's give it a little, quick little once over. Alright. So now what we'll do is we'll go back to our inventory. And we're going to add the parts that we need to replace to our shopping list. Yeah, crankshaft pulley, I was right. So I've, and we're going to get four of these. One, two, three, four. And we need one of these. Make sure uh, nothing else. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't have the tablet yet. We'll go over to the computer. And you can either do it one of two ways. Either A is you can do it. Okay, I'm looking at it. I see it. And then you can just click on it like this. Continue to go back on it. Belt tension up. And now to get to the spark plugs and the ignition coils you need to go over here to electronics now we only need one coil which is the first one oh, back in there and we need and we're going to purchase four spark plugs we only need two but we're going to buy all four it's just best that when you change when you start changing plugs and stuff like that it's just best to change them all at the same time so we'll put the plugs in Like I said, it's a slow and tedious process in the beginning. Alright, those are in. Now we're going to install the camshaft. Put the caps on. We're going to put the caps on. All four. And when we're done here, what we're going to do is we're going to install the timing chain on the back side of the motor. Now there's four parts in here that are not accounted for that need to be replaced. And as long as I don't have to rip open the motor, we'll be good to go. I'll put timing cover B back on. And we'll put the valve cover back on. With all 
all eight bolts. And we're gonna put the far, uh, the coils on. Now the first one in line is gonna be the hundred percent. So let's go here. We'll put that one on, and we'll put this one, which was ninety-five. And then we'll go to this one, which was seventy-eight, and this one would have been seventy-six. Perfect. Look at that. Now what I should have did before we rip start ripping the motor apart is I should have used the compression tester and tested the compression on it to see if the any internals inside the motor inside the block would be bad. So, oops. Awesome. Now the, now the timing cover A. Now the crank pulley. Then the belt. 77%, that's not bad. Now idler A, the 93% one. All right. I'm pretty sure the motor's all back together. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some oil to it. Good, 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 good. Oh. All right, now where's the dipstick? A little laggy tonight. There it is. We found it. We found it. Check the oil level. Perfect, right at max. Oh, go back in there. Go to additional tools. And we're going to go over here to compression tester. Doesn't look like anything's wrong inside the motor. Well, everything looks like it's on the up and up. Okay, now we're going to go back into additional tools. Now we're going to check the electronics of it. And every time you check these, your XP goes up. Well, it really looks like it's only up and up here. Yep, everything looks good. Uh, let's just double check this air filter just to be on the safe side. Alright, we're good there too. Okay. Now let's see what else we got to do. Brake pads, four rubber bushings, and four parts that are not discovered. Hmm. Now there's another little trick I'll show you guys in a minute. a tapping in the camshaft which we changed oh. now there's another feature that we have we can go like this we can give everything an inspection on it okay everything's good there there let's check even though we already know it's all good in here we're gonna check that I'll go over to the other side I'm gonna check this oh, I see one bushing two bushings three bushings four bushings so there's the four bushings right there now I'm almost guaranteed that we've got ourselves a fuel filter or fuel pump issue. There's a pad that needs to be changed on the rear. You can 
can see it on how it's red. And we're going to go over to this side. Actually, both rear pads need to be changed. Like I said, this is oh, leveled up. Never level three. Now we're going to go down to here. Oh, that's all good. Okay. What about the muffler? Oh, that's good. Load the up pipe. Alright, that's all good. So what we'll do, we're going to take a quick stroll around the car. And see if I can't check the rotors on it. Nope, can't check them. Okay, so I'm going to back out of here, see if we added anything to our list. No, we did not. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go get two pads from car parts under the brake section. And we may as well change those. And then we're also going to get the four rubber bushings. And yes, this this could possibly take a minute to get done. So we're going to take out one bushing. Two bushing. Ah, ah, ah. And then we're going to work our way all the way to the back. And we're going to take out this bushing. And we're going to go to the other side. Take out number four. And while those are out, we're also going to hop down here, take this tire off. Now then we can get the caliper off. And then we can change the brake pad. That's not bad, 77%. Now we install the wheel. And now we're done with this side. We've put the bushing in, the new one. And we'll use the bushing transfer point to get over to the other side. We'll install the bushing there. And we'll go back to part remove. Take out the tire. And what else? The caliper. Huh. This one jump around on me. pads back on now we put the wheel no nope, I was wrong fuel pumps in good shape well it's not all rusty and junk it's still pretty decent Alright, what about this bushing? Are any of these ones bad? No. Alright, so let's go take a look at the front over here. Huh. I have no idea if any of these parts need to be changed, but let's just take them apart and see. We're not going to charge a customer for doing this. Brake pads were shot. Yeah. What about the rotor? Is that horrible too? Yep. Need to change brake brake rotor. And let's go take a peek see at the other side. 
Yeah, these rollers are gonna have to change too, because it's in worse shape than the other side. And we're probably gonna have to do the brake pads here too. Yep, you can tell by on how rusty it is. Or it connects inside the pad or inside the caliper. Okay. Two brake discs, two pads, and we will have everything. Nice. Alright, so now we'll go back over here. We'll go over to brakes. We'll get two discs ventilated and two more pads. We'll go back down here. We'll install the first rotor. Anybody remember if the, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter if we're both the same. Well, we'll put the we'll put the one worse for wear on the passenger side since that's the side that the driver normally won't see as much and then we'll install the other rubber bushing the final rubber bushing and we'll work our way over to installing the rotor, the pads, the caliper, and the tire, and the wheel and tire, I should say. And this car will, well, I think we also got to do fluids too. Install the wheel. Alright, we've done all the main parts. We did the oil. Now we've got to change brake fluid, the coolant, the power steering, and we've got to t just top off the windshield washer fluid. Alright, so back under here, which I should have did that while we were under there. And we'll go to the drain. We'll go to the drain tool. And we'll start off right here since that's the one where it's closest to us, figuratively speaking. And we'll go down here to the coolant, which should actually look like it wasn't too too bad. We'll go back over here to the master cylinder to do the brake fluid. And once we're done emptying out the brake fluid the reservoir, then we can start adding the fluids. Now you see what I mean? Sometimes it's a little sketchy to uh, put fluid in and you can't really see. Uh, that one I let it splash up a bit more. We did end up taking the calipers off, so it's going to have to uh, refill the system. Perfect. Now we go over here to the coolant. Coolant tank A, or reservoir A. This is going to have to go completely through the system, so we'll put a little extra in there. And then it's the windshield washer fluid refill. And I and then I believe after this we are done with this one. Perfect. Let's just double check. Done, done, and done. Awesome. So we'll move this back outside to entrance A and I can call a customer and tell her to come get it. Oop. Perfect. The customer came and got it. It's gone. Let's look on the next order. Okay. This is the next one. Let's see what they got for us. Not before. Oh, I can definitely say it's going to need a new radiator. Not before we even start by bringing it in the shop. Engine can't be started. Uh, probably needs a starter, alternator. 
just looking at it, and radiator. Huh. And the fuel filter. But that's all the time we have for this one. So please like, share, subscribe. And we shall see you in the next one. Hope you all have a good one.